straight back on the evoke why it is on the ramp guys and we did a lot a lot of research after that last video and we actually found all of the timing marks you can see that little arrow down the bottom there then you've got that little tiny white line on there and that is your timing mark on the bottom and then the cam it was a bit of a nightmare on there it was a bit of a nightmare because the pin obviously was broke the bolt was loose and that come out of line so it did take us a couple of attempts there but we've managed to get that all back in the right position we've got a new pin in now and we have lock tighted that bolt back in so bit of a plan we know that the dpf as well is coming up as a warning that it's blocked so what i've done is actually loosened all of the bolts off of it and moved it away to give it a gap there to blow through just so that we can see if it runs but before we do that obviously this whole thing is going to need putting back together and i'm just going to remind you because you've probably watched another video in between this and if you and if you have missed part one of course you can go back and watch that one as well but let's get it on the floor you can see we stripped off a lot of stuff here to act, to actually get that cam carrier off and it was quite awkward earlier cleaning everything up sealing to get that cam carrier back on there but we're quite happy now to go ahead and start building this back up i did notice as well with this crystallization and if you guys can see that and that's actually uh sorry a bit of a spill over there from the ad blue that's what happens to it it goes all sort of crystal fired so anyway I've got no time for waffling in this one. We need to get it back together and see if it is going to run. Is the engine any good? The engine was good before it broke down. So we got our fingers crossed on this one. And hopefully again, we got lucky. Let's get it built back up. We did a good, probably a bit of time lapse you just watched there. It was probably a good hour of us both under the bonnet there. Chris put all the injectors in and then I started getting this, what did we call that, a skeleton? Yeah. Basically, that everything seems to fit to. Got quite a lot done there. Um, all the EGRs back on. Injectors are in, I think I just said that. A little cover's back on there. Yeah. Still quite a lot of little bits and pieces to do. Yeah. The fuel rail's got to go on, all of the fuel pipes, etc., etc. Still quite a lot of stuff, but yeah. we are getting there with it. And hopefully, while it's still light today, we will get it done. Yeah. So we're just going to continue on. This, I've got one to put in here. All these little, all these little plugs and wires that we took off. They all do sort of lay in the right direction. You say this all the time, didn't yeah. you? Lay it where it's supposed to go and then get it all fitted on. But as you can see, this wiring loom actually fits to this skeleton as well. So we're going to get the fuel rail on and then just move all the wiring loom, clip that home and then bring it round here where it needs to go. And this, I think, actually bolts up with this loom as well. So enough waffle, let's carry on. We actually stopped time lapsing a couple of hours ago and as you can see we've worked late into the night this yeah. evening haven't we and we are i mean we, we took a chance putting this car back together haven't yeah. we it is i mean it is what it is but if this does pay off this really does pay off so do it mate jump in it and see if it fires up i'm very very nervous to be honest so what we have actually done is timed all of that back up exactly where it should be Put the chain back on we have noticed that the tensioner, chain tensioner 
it does look iffy and it does keep clicking, but that wasn't actually the issue at the time. So it's look, it's got two chances. It's gonna run or it's not, and I guess I guess we haven't gained anything if it don't run, but we haven't lost anything apart from a day's work, have we? So yeah, ready, mate. It's gonna have no diesel, I don't think, up there, is it? Because we've had all the injectors out. Battery's a bit dead. I'll start with stick. It sounded like it was going to try and fire. Yeah, I'll get the jump pack on it and then we'll cut straight back in. Five minutes or is it good to go? It's on high, it's charging, so. That's the exhaust, don't worry. No, start it back up. I actually sounded all right, just that timing chain, yeah. That is because, guys, the DPF is blocked and I've disconnected it down there. I did show that earlier. Oh, Chris, honestly. I've just come over all funny. No, I think we've got to get a new tension in the morning. Definitely. Should we not just run it up for one second? Well, if it lets go, it'll undo all that hard work. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, guys, Chris, just... Sorry, can you repeat that? Cause we'll leave it till tomorrow and get a new chain tensioner. Because if we do start it... We possibly, if we run that too long and that lets go, because this chain will go slack mm. and anything can happen then, can't it? Chain can come off, snap, jam. But I'm glad but my dinner's runs. cold. <laughs> I, I'm glad I did. I'm glad we yeah. stayed and got it yeah. done. I mean, it's, it's nearly seven o'clock now, but she's a runner, mate. She's a runner. Well done. Yeah. Next morning, guys. A bit more enthusiastic this morning, though. That did get quite late on us last night. And the chain guide, the tensioner that we need, is dealer only, or you've got to buy a complete kit online. So I've ordered it up, and the boys will have it ready for me. Like I said, trying to get cracking with this one. That's why we worked late and started early this morning. So Chris has already, I actually spoke to him, said I was going to go and grab this. He's already took the old one out. And he's also, you've drained all the oil, yeah. all the filter. The filter's and, still on. Oh, the filter's, yeah, yeah. Right, so the filter's still on. But we've got new oil, new oil filter, new air filter, um, and that new tensioner to put in that is a tensioner isn't it so i'm just going to pop out and grab a couple of more bits but it'd be nice to get this one back down and hear it without that chain rattle won't it but fingers crossed yeah. that tensioner works and if it doesn't it is going to want a chain kit on it yeah i did show josh a picture of this actually in the first video possibly it might have been yesterday i don't know if you heard me he said that actually looks like a chain kit that's already been put on there, Rob. So it is a possibility, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, let's just continue on, mate, and see how we get on with it. Where I popped out there, um, and Chris was doing all the service items, I actually popped out and got popped out and got this uh, Normfest, very very highly recommended DPF 100 cleaner. So that's what I actually I go to Euro Car Parts over at Maidstone, so a bit of a drive, and pick that up. But while it was up in the air. Chris has already squirted that in exactly where they said to squirt it in. And he's done the oil, oil filter and air filter. And there's the air filter there. Actually looks like that's got a bit damp, that Chris. It's, it is a bit grotty. And obviously the oil filter in there as well is black. So we've done that now. And we're just getting a bit of life into the battery. And then we're going to go for... Oh, you fitted, sorry, obviously as well, that new tensioner so we're gonna fire it up and we see can't more, we can't do any more really if it's look it, it it runs we can let it get a li little bit more up to temperature because we've done all that work and we haven't actually had to drop the water out of it either have we so which has been really nice we should be able to run it up a little bit see if that chain quietens down yeah. fingers crossed it does i did notice 
in the previous video, a couple of comments people are saying about we had the head off, we didn't have the head off. No. That's a cam carrier with the, the cam shafts. Yep. It's not the cylinder head itself. No. I, uh, most popular comment in that video, and it was the most popular comment, and they are clearly uh, mechanics or fitters. Yep. So I do want to set this straight because it did cause quite a stir. A lot of people was worried. They was like, boys, you've definitely got a knackered cam there. You know when you rock the cam on the end yeah. of the carrier and it had movement? Yeah. They were saying it shouldn't be doing that. But I didn't mention we didn't actually have any bolts in no, the carrier it and it was sitting yeah. proud. That's right. So that's why that was moving, guys. And you was 100% right. If that was bolted down and there was movement in that cam, oh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. knackered. Yeah, yeah, so, sure. yeah. Right, let's get this battery on there and see what it sounds like. I actually cut, went to cut in a minute ago, but I started really, really laughing. And I had to sort of get me uh, breath back. I said to Chris, oh, um, you're just going to fire it up? He went, no, get the camera out just in case a DPF explodes or something. <laughs> you don't want to miss we'll that. We've got a whole can of that stuff in there, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. So we're, um, we're all back together. New oil, new filter, new tensioner, new etc., etc., etc. It's going to rattle a little bit when you first start it up. There's no oil in the filter. There's none around the chain. So give it a go, mate. Still got a timing chain rattle there, isn't it? Was. Just let it idle for a minute. Is that revving up on its own? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Let it idle or You know what, it's definitely just chain though, Chris, I think. It's... Mate, I'll, I'll be honest with you, that must, no, hardly anything. I think so, put your hand over there and have a little feel yourself, but. I just want to get a bit of paper towel, just to show, yeah. Go on. That's pathetic. It's got, there's it's hardly anything coming out there. Blocked, that is blocked, yeah. Is that a uh, DPF light still on? Yeah. Exhaust filter, what did that say? Full. Yeah. Well, it runs, it's going to drive, oh, but... Yeah. So I'm turning it off, or...? Got a little bit of that. Have we explained that the only way you can do that chain is actually by removing the gearbox? But I'd be quite confident there's nothing else wrong with that. Turn engine. it off, Chris, because I won't be able to hear you. Go on, mate. I'm quite confident there's nothing else wrong with that engine other than that chain. So what, it must have stretched that chain slightly, I'm going to guess. Unless it sounded like that before, obviously, because we never heard it run. Yeah. How rattly was this car before we bought it? Right. You know, so we just don't know, do we? But it didn't, in all honesty, it didn't feel like there was a lot of tension against that chain tensioner no and it it doesn't sound any better than it did with the old one in it so no. and that was quite expensive that little bit i think it was but nearly so 90 I'm, quid i'm guessing that there's a, a bit of stretch in that chain maybe yeah and it a block. runs crisp as anything yeah um and a block dpf and a block dpf so <coughs> i suppose we do decide what route we go with it now yeah um, 
it's going to need the DPF clearing out, isn't it? Yeah. So, but that... I don't want to do... any point in doing that at the moment? Mm, I don't want to... I mean, that computer does a false regen. I don't want to do a false regen when the chain's that loose. Because it, it revs itself up and it might self-destruct. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with the engine. You're right. The engine's fine. It wants... Yeah, yeah, it wants... No, I don't think there's any damage to anything. Nah. It was running all lovely. It was yeah, idling no, okay. No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've run it long enough. We can put the code reader on, can't we? Because yeah, we've got engine management on. Yeah. See if anything's flagged up. But I, I think it's all all good apart from DPF and that. Let's swap seats then, mate. I'll get it plugged in. Chris just jumped out of the car. We run it up. And he said, because it's twin pipe, obviously it is coming out of both. Which does make sense. So if I cover mine up, and then... It has, yeah. yeah, it is. So it is okay, isn't it? Since we first done that, it's getting better and better. I think that, that stuff was doing is starting to work. Can you cover yours up for a sec? Yeah. It's starting to um, clear. It's starting to clear. I am going to plug it in, see what it comes up with, I think. So, well, first of all, excuse the noise. Chris is going up there. Don't forget to turn your camera on, mate. Um, got a few faults there. Nine to be precise. We'll start at the bottom. Don't forget, though, I've cleared all of these faults before we rebuilt the car and started it. So these are all current faults. Air conditioning, steering control module, uh, image processing control module A, and then powertrain. That's going to be the ones that are giving us the engine management light. Trouble codes. Diesel particulate filter DPF restriction soot accumulation bank one. Intake air temperature IAT sensor one circuit performance range. Vehicle condition incorrect for diesel particulate filter DPF regeneration. Mass or volume airflow circuit performance range glow plug control module so have they been since we started it i guess we're going to try and erase them and then we'll just have them we'll start the engine and see if they come back again turn the ignition off and then back on i should think they're going to come back up aren't they well we're down to two now so diesel particulate filter soot accumulation and vehicle condition incorrect for diesel particulate filter regeneration. So it's not doing that probably because of that. So let's do a little bit of research into that and then we'll tell you what we come up with. Well, not quite sounding as good as we wanted it, but certainly a lot easier to get it out of the workshop than it was to get it in. It goes backwards. Such a shame it's got a stretch chain, guys, isn't it? Because that car will be well on the way now to being ready to go out the door, but... If they was all easy, we'd all be doing it, wouldn't we? Guys, at least we didn't leave that one on a bombshell. You have all heard it run, uh, run rather. I know we didn't get that big cheer when it did start up last night. We did work quite late, didn't we? But we are really happy that it is now running and driving. I've cut it short there on a diagnostic machine because we both discussed, we're just chasing a dead end, basically, aren't we? Yeah. Without taking it off and cleaning it out, there's not really a lot more we can do. The other thing is, I definitely didn't want to do a false regen off that computer, which you can do, because it's just going to obliterate that engine with that loose chain. So, also, just discussed, do we want to buy the tool and do the chain? 
Do we want to borrow it? Not really. We do try not to borrow stuff, but we have asked Josh if he'd like to do the job and how much it's going to be. It's just going to be a bit of waiting around, isn't it? Well, it, it would be both chance, wouldn't it, if we was taking the gearbox? Yeah, I think be it's silly, silly to only do that one. Yeah, so I think you've got to change it. Well, you've got yeah. to have the tools to do that. You Definitely. No, no way around it. 100%. So it's going to be a whole time in chain kit. I think regardless of whether we end up doing it or whether Josh does it, I think we're getting it done, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it's got it, it done, it's, it? it's getting done. It like no, it's such a lovely car. And it's just those two problems to iron out now. So the DPF and the timing chain. But really, really glad. We definitely got lucky there with the cams, the lobes, etc., etc. So that's not going to be... We're not going to stay on that car. We've moved it out because we want to bring Sank House in. That has been, that car's been in here since the first video we've done on it. So, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. As usual, if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up, share on all your social networking sites, and, of course, leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. If you want to follow us on Instagram for the daily sneak peeks, the vehicles we sell, or if you want to offer us a car, it's Salvage Rebuilds. And if you want to follow Chris when he's out eating his dinner, or <laughs> going to a boot fair, or visiting somewhere Museums. in particular. What, what was it this weekend? Leeds Castle? Leeds Castle, yeah. Yeah, and he's got a couple of nice upcoming ones that you're not gonna wanna miss, and that's Selvage Rebuilds Chris. We'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.